So you have a good artifact with insane substats like create or crit damage. You wanted all substats to go to crit when you plus 20, and boom, instead it all went to other stats. This is a problem that not only you, but also many others are facing right now. So you may be wondering, is there a way to avoid bad substats when upgrading artifacts? As someone who has spent thousand resins farming artifacts, the short answer? No, there isn't. It's RNG. But there is a way to make the artifact upgrade experience better and you can still come out on top with at least one good plus 20 piece. This video will be divided into three main parts. Number one, what is considered a good artifact? Number two, the RNG behind upgrading artifacts. And number three, how to upgrade artifacts the right way. Let's move straight to the first part. A good artifact in the end game is where they have good artifact main stats and substats. Although it depends on the character's kit, generally, the most important stats are crit rate and crit damage. Then the secondary stats like attack percentage, as they charge with a mastery, defense percentage, and HP percentage. Finally, the stats that are considered not good are fast stats like attack, HP, or defense. These fast stats are still okay in early game, or on specific characters like Shenhe, if you already run cheaper attack percentage for Sans, Complete, and Circlet. Pro attack is still okay, as it is still good for a kit. Ultimately, you want to have a good artifact piece with crit rate, crit damage, and secondary stats that are useful to your characters. I will leave the link to a character build spreadsheet where you can see the importance of artifact main stats and substats of each character. To further understand this, there are two examples. One good piece and one average piece. We have this artifact here. This is considered a great piece because first, it's a plus 20 5 star artifact that belongs to the Nobest Oblige set, which has a good 2 piece and 4 piece effects. Second, it's a Sans that has a stack percentage main stat, which is good for DPS or sub DPS. Finally, all artifact rolls went to crit rate and crit damage. If you calculate the crit value, which equals crit rate times 2, Plus crit damage, this piece has 49.8 crit value, which is pretty good. Another example is this artifact. This is considered an average piece, as although it is a 5 star crit damage artifact of the Emblem of Server's Fate set, the substat upgrade was not good. You can see that 2 rolls went to flood attack and 2 rolls to HP percentage. No rolls went to crit rate, which is a substat that we wanted. So overall, this piece is just an average piece. It is decent on characters that scale on HP, but I want more crit rolls here. Let's move on to the second part. The RNG behind upgrading artifacts. RNG here means random number generators, where essentially is randomness with no certainty. If you want to have a great artifacts, there are at least 7 layers of RNG in total that you need to go through. Number 1. The 5 star on set. Each artifact domain has 2 sets, and you need it to drop the 5 star artifact of the right set. Number 2. The type of artifacts. There are 5 types. Flower, Feather, Sands, Goblet, and Circlet. If you need a Circlet, then there is a 1 out of 5 chance for you to get the right type. Number 3. The main stats. Except for flower and feather, the other three pieces main stats are RNG. Number 4. The number of substats. There can be 3 or 4 substats. This is essential as you will get one extra upgrade if it has 4 substats. Number 5. The substat itself. As mentioned, you need a piece to have useful stats like crit rate, crit damage, and secondary stats. Number 6. The value of substat. You can check the value in the table here. The link is in the description. For example, for crit rate, the minimum value is 2.72. The maximum value is 3.89. In all cases, you want the value to be as high as possible. Number 7. Finally, the value of substat when you upgrade it. This is the most crucial layer. You need to upgrade to level 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20, and the rolls will need to go to the good stats. If you have an artifact that has one good stat like crit damage, if all rolls go to this stat, then this piece is usable. If it all goes to the best substats, then although this artifact has passed the previous layers, you still want to replace this piece. I have seen numerous cases from other people and I have personally experienced it myself, that they have passed the first 6 layers of RNG, but as a final layer, the upgrade was terrible, it all went to bad substats, and they had to throw away what was seemingly a perfect piece. Let's go to the third and the most important part, how to upgrade artifacts the right way. I have farmed and upgraded thousands of artifacts, and I have seen other experienced players who upgrade artifacts. Some of them have even come up with their own ways of what you would usually call a formula to have good rolls. I will leave the links to their channels in the description. I recommend checking them out so you can develop your own strategy for this. As for me, there are three things I have done I'm still doing by building artifacts. They are Batch, Assess, and Moi. I call this the BAM method. Let's analyze them one by one. First, Batch. It means that you need to have a decent number of artifacts before upgrading. You can do this by farming artifact domains for a few days straight, 4 connects resin every day, and each run gives you 2 5 star artifacts, and each day you will have 8 5 star artifacts. A good starting point is to have around 30 to 40 5 star artifacts before you move to the next steps. This will help you be more relaxed as you will not worry about each artifact every time you finish the domain and can save you some time too. Second, assess. This is why you check each artifact to see which artifact is usable and has a good potential to upgrade to plus 20. A potential artifact is the one that has good stats as I mentioned. 
AOLP stuff, for example, has three substats. And one of them is crit rate or crit damage. Then it's still a decent piece. So it still has a chance to have one more crit substat when you upgrade to plus four. For the bad artifacts, what you can do is use them as the upgrading materials. Or you can check them with artifacts strong box to see if you can get any good artifacts. Third, Moi. This is pronounced as Moi in Vietnamese. But to simplify this, let's say this as Moi, similar to Koi fish. I couldn't find a similar single word in English, but basically, what this means is that you will upgrade other artifacts first to test the water, then finally upgrade your main artifact. In Genshin Impact, although there is RNG, as in the start has a 1 out of 4 chance for an artifact role to go into, but usually, there is a pattern that the substat role distribution will go to every stat. For example, if you have potential artifacts at plus 0, upgrade them one by one to plus 4. For the first one, if the new substat is a bad one, then you mark this as one bad. Then, for the second one, you upgrade to plus 4 again. If it's still a bad substat, then you can mark this as two bad. This counter will not change even on the next day in roll time. After you feel that you have enough bad rolls, it's time for the main artifacts. Try to upgrade them either to plus 4 or use another existing plus 20. To upgrade them straight away to plus 18 or plus 20 if you get the 2x. There are two scenarios here. If the substat roll is good, then you can repeat step 1 and upgrade to the next stat change level, like plus 8, plus 12, plus 16, or plus 20. If the substat roll is not good, then depending on your tolerance, you can either continue, stop and move on to the other good artifact and repeat. Remember to mark the number of bad and good rolls. Always keep in mind that if you have a series of bad rolls, the potential the next following rolls will all be good. That's it for the BAM method. Here's an example. First, batch. You need to go to an artifact domain to farm artifacts, and it was pretty lucky to have 4 or 5 star artifacts in one run. Now, when we do the assess. As you can see, the artifacts are quite decent, as I have 1 Shimino World Attack Sands, 2 Emblem Artifact Goblet that can be used for Riding Shogun, 1 Potential Flower that has 4 substats with crit rate and crit damage. Then, I will do the Moi. I will test other artifact first, before reading the flower which is got. And the goal is for all rolls to go to crit rate. And the roll was terrible here, as you can see. All rolls went to flat attack and defense. But, this means that the following rolls could all be good. So, let's use that ER send up with the flower. Alright, there we go. As you can see, Oros went to crit. And the crit value of each roll were really good, as we have an average of 3.5 of crit rate and max 7.7 .7 for crit damage. And finally, for plus 20, you can either upgrade other artifacts to get bad rolls, then go back to this one. But I felt confident, so I decided to upgrade plus 20 straight away here. Let's go! Another 7.0 crit damage, which is awesome. Definitely one of the highest crit values artifacts that I have. 50.5 CV flower. This is definitely an upgrade for Raiden Shogun. Alright, I know that you may have a lot of questions, so here they are. First, if I suddenly have a good roll when I was saving for bad rolls, is the counter reset? Yes. Second, how many bad rolls should I have before moving to upgrade the main artifacts? The answer is it depends. Usually, my conversion rate is 1 bad equals 1 good. If you upgrade to plus 20 with a 4 substat 5 star artifact, then there will be 5 times where you need to upgrade to roll into good stats. So, try to have 5 bad consecutively before moving to the main artifact. But if you feel that you have spent too much artifact ASP and Mora to have a bad roll streak, then you can stop at around 2 or 3 bad rolls and upgrade the main artifact. Third, how many good artifacts should I have before using the BAM method? 3 will be a good number. Always remember that if the first plus 20 main artifact was bad, you still have at least 2 other chances to upgrade. If all 3 artifacts were bad, it means you have multiple bad rolls, and the next plus 20 pieces may potentially have good rolls. Fourth, when should I stop? I recommend stopping when you have one good plus 20 piece. After this, there is a good chance that the next rolls will all be bad. So you should repeat of the first step of the BAM method which is batch and continue upgrading on another day. Fifth and finally, is it a 100% method to upgrade a good artifact? Absolutely not. But it's a good method to try, since it will not only help you develop a mindset of cheating artifact upgrade like something really casual, but it also helps you understand that if the piece is bad now, then the next piece could potentially be good. So you understood this? Here are some of the artifact upgrade showcase of mine. Enjoy! Open eye, feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide
overall, at the end of the day, even new are free to play or high spenders, you are the fact that something that has many little spy NG. It's not easily accessible by any means. I hope that you have learned something new from this video. Say day on player, let's upgrade a thousand of artifacts. I just want to let you know since artifacts upgrade is RNG, sometimes you have good artifacts, sometimes you have bad ones. Building artifacts for a character is not a quick process at all, so be happy with what you got. If the artifact is decent, keep it. You can totally replace them later when you have a better one. That's it for the video. Please like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. This is one signing out. Peace.